Yeah. Free beer and hot wings in the morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. 97.9 GRD rocks. Cloudy today. Seasonable 35 the high. It's about 30 now. Uh, so holiday break-ins. What a day. Yep. I, am, I, I know a big day. all of us are spent. With all just worn out. Yeah, I, for, I so much forgot what we were doing that as soon as we ended the last break, I put my headphones away. I put my computer away. I go, wow, yeah, wait Hopping's, a minute, we're not done yet. Hopping's out in the car. <laughs> yeah, I'm warming it up, man. Truck's already started out yep. there. Ready to go. Yeah, I bet it is. Check his app. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, look at it. <laughs> Find it. Uh, man, so many people to thank in West Michigan uh, for the holiday break-ins here at GRD. Uh, first of all, obviously, the, the entire staff, people that – uh, come in and just help wrap gifts and, and everything else and, and help get us going. Oh, and mostly people that don't even want to talk to us to begin with, and yet they suck it up and do all the present wrapping. And They're all willing that. to put the feelings, the truth about how they feel about us yeah. to the side and help because they know it's for the right reasons. Yeah, which is uh, really nice. Uh, thanks to Meyer. Again, they, they, they remain the, the backbone of the operation for the holiday break-ins, knowing we can count on them every year to get us where we can. We, we know the basics are covered and more. And then we can start uh, going beyond that. And, and very quietly, Talsma Furniture for years and the Talsma family has helped us out with the holiday break-ins. Um, and uh, we, we've been begging them to let us say thank you because they literally just bring a truck with – We every year, every year we go through this. Well, it feels like we're asking for too much. Yeah. And we always – I know Steve's always careful to say or, in, or whoever is doing it is always careful to say, hey, if they can get any of this, yeah. it's a win. If even we got if, one thing off this list, it would be amazing for this, right. for this family. Even if they can't. Even if they can't get anything, it's – you know, it's it, – what's, what's the harm in asking? Sure. And they showed up today. And we had asked, we had a big list of furniture that we needed for the family, my family, and they got it all plus some. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, they uh, we bring extra stuff. We didn't ask, like, yeah. we didn't ask for all new box springs and mattresses. They brought all new ones. Yeah. That's we didn't awesome. ask for extra, they had extra dressers on the truck, and they said, well, this one looks like it would fit over there. And this one, this is in really good shape. So why don't we move this over here and put this new one here? It was crazy. Wow. And they did yeah, they're it, amazing. and they were the nicest guys in the world. They couldn't have been happier to help out. Yeah, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Tons of stuff. Also, Kevin Collins with 360 Massage helped out. Posh Pedals, poshpedalsfloral.com. They did all the wrapping for Joe. They just yeah. actually they shut down the business for night. All the employees stayed late, and they wrapped gifts. That's cool. Yeah, uh, that's Jeremy, really cool. the ASC certified mechanic, that he, he doesn't sell cars. No. He just had a car and decided to work on it and then give it to a stranger because he's kind. He said that they were working on the car until uh, 1 o'clock in the morning. They had, he had done most of the work, but there were a few other things they wanted to work on. Well, they realized late last night that there was an issue that they needed a new part for. All the stores are closed. He called his buddy who works in an auto parts store, mm-hmm. and his friend came and opened the store, sold him the part, and then he went back and they and finished it. Closed Incredible. It back down. Yeah, and they finished it. And then he was there this morning, bright and early. Yeah, he was there this morning. And he didn't just drop the car off. He dropped the car off and then helped us. He was there the entire time we were doing the break-in. It's amazing. It is. Absolutely. Uh, also, uh, Angela with Perrin Resort and Collegiate Apparel in, in Comstock Park. Five boxes of clothes. That was insane when she dropped those off yesterday. For the break-in family. She had sent me an email earlier in the week and said, uh, hey, what sizes are the are the people that we need that you guys need clothes for? I work for uh, an apparel company will drop off stuff. I'm figuring we'd get like a gift bag with a couple of shirts and a couple of sweatshirts. Sure. And there were five boxes. <laughs> we had to hoard. We had to fight off the people in this office because people are like, oh, I want one of those shirts. I want one of these. <laughs> You're yeah. not needy. Get yeah, out of here. Get Twiddling out. fingers saying, hmm, don't mind if I do. Go away. Well, I mean, actually, technically, a lot of radio people are needy. Yeah. Yes. And I would be lying <laughs> if I said that there weren't two shirts hanging up on my door that I took. For me, yeah, it was five boxes. Yeah, there were, there, yeah, there were, there, there were a lot of shirts. <laughs> I just got a text from Ziggs. Great day as always. Can't believe I got choked up on that letter. He was in Nashville. It was the last one we did. He said I had read that no less than ten times, probably more. Got me every time. Enjoy the holidays, bud. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> How could you not? Man? Yeah, way to be a wimp, yeah. Ziggs. Yeah. Man, see, he got into his own head. Yeah, he was thinking about it too much. Think, trying so hard not to. Well, uh, West Michigan, you continue to be very generous as, with us, not only with your time, by listening to us, in spite of the fact that all logic and reason says not to. Right. Dumb name, bunch of idiots. Uh, we're very lucky. 
and, and we truly appreciate it. Well, it's uh, we need the we need the nominations too. Without those nominations yes. that people send in, we we can't do anything. And yep. right, yeah, we're kind of the middlemen on it too. Jason you know? and, and Lisa at, at Rockford High School and your entire all the students on the student council doing those break ins off the air. That that is that is one of the neatest things. That's one of the things I'm oddly most proud of. Yeah, the fact that uh, our small we had a small part inspiring. Now, seven, eight, nine years yeah. of students to do that on their own at an age when you're supposed to be selfish is really awesome. So that's, well, a, yeah, that's a great tradition great. that they started. Such a testament to not only that staff, but all those kids. Yep. Year after year after year, new people taking over the reins for that and really embracing it and having it as their own. They're to be commended. Absolutely. Anybody else? Anything else? If we forgot something, well, I don't think so. We apologize. Yeah. A lot of people here at the radio station help pack, uh, help wrap it all, all the gifts. Yep. And uh, so thank you to everyone. Incredible. Kid Rock, wasting time. <laughs> Rock. It's 97.9 GRD Rocks.